where it start <clears throat> okay guys continue the video before the previous one this is video number 11 and uh, i continue doing the the new code for the screenshot thread Okay, now I have to create another thread. Third thread string shot. And I have to create the, the thread object. Screenshot. I have to change those names. Um, no. You see one thing if I have the project name. Yeah, I got it, the synth name. Instead of that, I just create number one. Usually it doesn't like that, so I have to go like this. Because just the way the objects are created. So now I have my second thread, which I can put here on this call. I'm going to put this on the bottom for thread screenshot and now I have to also add this no not that other thread What's the name again? Screenshot thread. Start thread. And this can have. No, oh, I'm not going to change that. And I have to close the thread. SS thread is running. Signal thread to exit. And stop the thread. There's another place. I have to add something. Oh, I don't need it. Okay, never mind. So this should be good already. Let me get my original code for the screenshot and remove this from the code. And this doesn't go here anymore. It goes on the bottom. And the common I'm using is 24. So it's 24, and then it has to read the size. Not going to use this. Sixty-four size equals zero. And x common equals zero. Those are the two guys that I'm using, okay. Now I have to read the size. 
No, not the size. Sorry. I just uh, where is? It? I send the common twenty-four. So if common is equals twenty-four, I have to get something. A minute. Okay. I'm back. Okay, I get the, the common 24. And now I have to reply with the size of the screenshot. So let's get the screenshot. Convert to a PNG file. Before I forget, I have to put something around here. What is it? Oh, it checks. It waits for one second. If nothing is received, then it checks again. That's good. So, that's me. Put this on the right indentation. Move these. These are not going to be using. And neither are going to be using this. So, okay, I have the screenshot. I have the size of the data. I write the size, which is what I'm expecting there. Size is larger than zero. And I also write the output if data and that's it oh, I see why it's taking more than one second to finish this up when it's called to finish I'm thinking that's not a problem. It should be working now. Let me check the main, the, the main code. I'm receiving all the data, and it's from a separate process. Let me see if my process I'm using. No, it's not the right one. It's um, pipe screenshot. Read pipe screenshot. Write in pipe screenshot. Write the data. This one should work out. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, it seems, seems to be okay. Well, let's fire this up and see if it's going to work. I'm sure with a sec, four second delay to the screenshot. Okay. He's receiving a screenshot, but it's not resizing the window, so I have to check why it's not resizing the window. But at least it's getting the screenshot. And the quality is good. Uh, 
and it's refreshing every four seconds. So now I can re remove my restriction for the four seconds and refresh every, let's say, half a second. So 500. And let me not use a static here because this can be problematic with multi instances of the plugin. So I'm in the editor. Let's create a variable for that. It's screenshot counter. And uh, going to use that instead. And another nice thing about this is that if the application crashes, the screenshot is still in memory and it draws from that until the application is loaded again. But let me check why it's not resizing correctly. I think I didn't add the code. Size, size. This I don't need anymore because this action never gets called. Need to worry about that. But uh, I think since I changed the code, I forgot to put back the size. Is this or this the bug window? Should be this what I'm looking for. And I have to fix the state information actually. This is the timer callback on the main application. Okay, so I need to worry now here on the plugin editor. I have to get sorry. get um, get event of course, and actually I could do this every half a second too. I don't you really need to worry so much, and there's a reason for that. Because when it resize the the main window, it's going to be on top of the other window, so it doesn't have to resize right away. So I'm going to get the H to height. So the gear eight equals that, and gets H to width. I always like to do this in order. And the last thing is going to be the repaint. That size x x eight. So now it should resize correctly. So now you can see that the window is it, it's behind now but the resize has been done correctly. It take, take, takes half a second to update, which is okay, it's not a problem. And it seems to be working correctly. Mm. Yeah, that's good. And as soon you can you can look here at the bottom. This is the main window and this is the external window. You can see that as soon as I put the mouse over, it changed the focus. But now if I change it manually, it shows the screenshot instead. This is a screenshot. I put the mouse on top we have the actual interface.
and I can see that it's not affecting the the options. I'll just have to check if uh, the plugin is going to work as well as this one, but at least it's, it's working. Seems to be working correctly. Now let me try and kill the external process and it should show the screenshot, which is showing now, but it's refreshing now. For some reason, it's taking a bit of much longer to refresh, but it did load it up. Let me try again. Kill the external process. And it's loading again. Yeah, at least it's loading again. It's loading again. But I wonder why it's taking so long to do that. Let me check on my timer callback. Here, timer callback. Oh, I will take a look at this later on, so I'm not going to worry about it now, but I should at some point worry about this. So the h handle is no more. The reset, I don't remember how the reset is being used. Because, let me check if there is any place in here that has a reset, it doesn't. But there is no reset for the plugin actually. I don't get why it's doing that. Now the get state and set state. I don't really need to use this format that I'm using here. Because this is for was for some other program. But I do want to use the the zip compression. But then again, I don't really need to. I just want the state information from actually actual plugin and maybe it's just better to just get it without any changes so what i'm going to do i don't need anything else especially because i don't use that So I have my the end of the of the line it's in there. So I have um, a memory block where I get the stage formation. And now I have to write the size. So okay, let me create a, a size in here. Equals X data size. So I have the size, I write the size, and if the size is higher than zero, I write, or oh, it's not read, right. I write all the data. All the data so this should be okay I have a memory block if the plugin is loaded I get the state information to the memory block contents then I send back the size and if the size is larger than zero I send the memory block contents yeah that should work and now on the set state I do the opposite so
I received information. And I don't care about all this information in here because I don't use it. And now, if size is higher than zero, and the plugin has been loaded, I just send the set and state information and send the end command. Write, read, read. Yeah, that's all good. So now this should work along the other code in here. Let's check it out. Send control byte. Get state information. Where is requesting the state information? Oh, of course, it's requesting from the external process. And the set state information is the, is the same. Okay, this has compiled it, so I can compile this one. And, uh, okay, I was worried that it may crash because it has some state information before, but I set it to zero, so... Let's see now if it's going to save it. Let's put panning, semi, binary, high quality on. Close it. And open again. And see if it re returns information. Yeah, it did. It loaded the right patch. That's good. That's actually very good. Oh, another thing. I can check on the external process in here. Um, here on the source, on the Vusk engine source, I'm, I have set a hard-coded preset to load, so I can remove it now. I was just doing some tests with that. So let's remove it now and see if maybe that's why it was taking so long to reload the application. Okay, it has the brushing it out the application, the external one. You don't get why it's taking so long to reload. And it's doing nothing now. I will have to double check what's going on in here. Something is going on. Hmm. Let me try again. <clears throat> Closing it. Not responding. I think I know what it is. It has to do with the state information. Because when I, I received it, I received the state information, I store it in this buffered variable. And when I restart, Check in here. Here is the initial external. It's received OK command. So it has already my state information and it tries to send it right on in initialization. In here could be a problem because it could clash with the other code. Would be best I have to think about it now. Because here you can see that it didn't receive anymore the 
They said the formation because I remove it. Mm, it's not that. Too halting. Something else. Well, I'm going to figure out this eventually. One thing that I'm thinking, it's the, where is it? What's the name again? I forgot. On the plugin editor, the timer callback for the repaint. I actually have to Check this and do the repaint. It's waiting eighteen seconds, eight thousand seconds. <clears throat> what did the returns? Return the number of bytes read. So, if number of bytes read, I'm going to put two seconds because eight seconds is a bit overkill here if the number of bytes read equals x size and x and x size is larger than zero it's going to create the image otherwise it doesn't care Oh, what I'm doing the forgot this guy in here. Ugh, ugly. Is there no process running? I'm putting too much time to this in here. No need. So reads and it reads the whole thing. Short read. Oh, it's not there. Never mind. Should be equals size size of integer sixty four. And size larger than zero. And then when I read here if equals x size now oh, it's okay because maybe as I'm, I'm reading the screenshot i delete the thing it's not going to be hot on this process i think that's going to help out Because the installation is happening pretty fast, actually. Not so bad. Because you got the previous states information. Let me kill it. It's restarting. But I can see that the second time it restarts, it closes and restarts again. So that's one thing I have to check. Well, it seems that it's, it's restarting two times. That's a, I don't get why. So it does take a screenshot out of the state information to every 20 seconds. Yeah, every 20 seconds. So I'm waiting for that to happen just to check if it's correctly I'm going to put these guys out the top ok 
بود این that's best plenty already we put everything here to the max this was already the previous one now let's delete i'm going to go end task the same as pressing the delete on the keyboard see if it loads up again yep not only it loaded but also remember the stuff that i changed it because it it, it took takes 20 seconds 20 seconds to take another snapshot that's the right word for this uh, in the best case scenario what i could also do is every time you load a new patch patch after loading a new patch it also takes a snapshot so that's also a very nice idea that i can do i just have to re remember to do that so now change the preset but uh, didn't pass the 20 seconds let's see if it's right about to get it or what yet why this delay i have to check why on this delay, delay to reload this time seems that it's stuck it's processing something hmm The window is gone, the process is gone. I have to figure out a few other extra things. So what I'm going to try to do is figure out if the extra initialization of the process is being called more than once when it's it gets deleted or stopped or whatever name it gets created it open it up and it's there so i'm going to delete it now to close it it gets created again and it opens up okay now it gets created if I press very fast on the on the first initialization alert, sometimes it gets created two times, and that's not good. It should be doing that. Oh, here, second time. So something is indeed happening. I have to figure out what it is. Hmm. If the external process is still running, kills the process. Okay, of course. But uh, what is really happening? Send state information. Maybe what I could do instead of sending in here, because this could be a bit of a problem. We try something. Because right now, right now the code is running. And if I stop the external process, there are other calls happening to the main code. And see that it is starting two times. Very clear that. Start two times. That's the question. Let's 
just in case. Put some checks in here. Because I'm starting the starting the timer process running. Suspend processing is also there. We stop the timer. The timer resumes at the end. Don't get. Because it seems to be closing. I do close the processing by processing by power the screenshot I do close all the guys and there is no other call than close I start it up again and I created the new the new pipes the new command shell it starts up Maybe the problem is on the process block, so let me check a few things out. Hmm. To suspend the processing, so this is not being called as I create. External process. Call it to that. I'm going to figure out eventually just some more testing. In this time, did it open correctly? This time, it's stuck for a few seconds. Curious to why it gets stuck for a few seconds. Well, now it's a good time to debug this. So I'm going to debug. Rebuild solution. Enable debug. I'm going to see where it's being called. Maybe it's being called twice on the timer callback. This is my the computer. This computer I got. It's new and it's very fast. So let me add a breakpoint to the initialize external. So it's already running. 
I'm going to kill the external application now. Now I can check where on the timer callback. Okay, so initialize external process. Maybe this give me a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so this time it has worked. Did not create two times. Now let's see what happens again. Now external process. And there it is the second time. Why? First time. Initialize it again. Okay. Let's try again. Just run. And it worked, okay. And this process. Something happened and it's trying to initialize again. Interesting. Wondering if maybe this is getting called twice, but I don't get very a lot of place where I call it. Let's see. Is these and these? So actually, there is a problem. It's running already. I don't stop it. I don't know if it's that the problem, but a lot of stuff in there to worry about. Try now. seems to be more consistent. What I'm going to do is remove the debug code, rebuild the solution, drink some water, and wait. Okay, almost done. Let's run this guy. Really mess up with the external process. Well, was a bit faster now. Seems to be consistent this one thing 
Oh, I lost my preset. No problem. Let's see, I'm going to close it and run again and see if it remembers. And then I'm going to restart the external process. And it works. <laughs> That's good. That's actually very good, actually. There's just one small thing that I want to fix it. I see that when it restarts, I'm getting some weird behavior on the editor. The size of the editor. It uh, vanishes and reappears again. And I want to figure out why it's doing that. Could be here. It's still running. But not only that. Oh, the size gets to zero. So I have to check. It's still running and XW equals zero. because what happens is that when I kill the external process, this is going to return zero always. <coughs> so now I close it. Two went to zero. Something near zero, actually. Okay. Let's put higher than four because it's never going to be <clears throat> less than that. And I'm going to check why it's getting me something near zero. Red two, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here. Zero. Let's close this guy up and recompile. That's what's. <clears throat> I lost my voice now. So let me try again. <clears throat> There's my window. Kill the external process. Now the window stays the same with the screenshot and doesn't go crazy like before. Let me close this guy up so we can take a better look. I'm going to put this off screen. I'm just going to end the process. So I'm ending the process now. The process window closed. The main window stays fixed and then redraw the whole thing when it, it's ready, which is good. It's not, it's not so bad. <clears throat> I wish it could be a bit better because there are some things in here that they are a bit weird. So the, the height and the, the width of the, I always say height, but it's height. <laughs> Sorry for that, of the window, it's passing something strange to the host, actually. Oh, yes, because when music station starts, it, it does start with a very small window, then it resizes. So it's actually music station code that's doing that. But usually it's very fast, but in this case, we have a delay. That's why you, you can see that it's very fast. It doesn't even show here when I load it up. But on the code here, I have a delay for when I change the, <clears throat> the size of the window. So maybe it's half a second. That's why it's going there. It's not a big deal. 
Not so bad, I would say. And it only happens when it reloads the window, so I think that's okay. Maybe what I could do I can think about this later on. Because this is already running pretty good. What I want to do now, first let me create a copy of this before I forget, because the other time I forgot and it's really good to make several copies, so if you make a change that breaks something, you have a copy for that. <clears throat> and let me try Sonar now and see what happens. Then I can double check a few things of the proprietary properties of the plugin to see if this I have set up all the properties correctly and then I can create some other versions for like the FX version, uh, much out version and then for Vosk 2008, Eve and one. I always forget which one is which. Is the original. And this is the external process one. Okay, already see one small problem. It's working. The screenshot works perfectly. Um, I want to add another one to see if the Mooch instance is correctly working, working correctly. I want to wait two seconds here to see if it's going to load up, because it seems that it's not loading, but I could be wrong. Put this the super oscillator. When I close it, close, so that's good. I reopen. Reopens again. I don't really like the way it's refreshing for the first time, but I can change that, I guess. Make it look a bit, bit better. So the sample player. Because it also take a long time to open. I don't get why it's take a long time to open. And it's not actually open, it's recreating the instance. So I have to check, maybe I did something wrong in the code, but I can see if I, it's loading, it's not loading the interface. There's some crazy guy honking, like crazy. In a beetle. Yeah, a beetle. Let me see why. On the editor, I close the editor. It's correct. But um, let me check on the external process. Maybe I'm doing something wrong on a close editor and it's closing the whole thing. Close H2 equals true. Let's see what happens. I just save the position and close the plugin editor. Okay, that's good. Um, maybe when I reopen. So this is a plugin editor and it's reopening. Let's try something. Let's try another project here. Add the guy. This is the second one. I'll remember. Unload the preset. 
say it is super oscillator. I'm going to add some notes. Okay, I have added some notes. You can hear because I forgot to set the audio. Well, not because I'm using a ASIO, so I think it's ASIO. I don't know how to, how to call that. Okay, I save it. I'm gonna close the window. Okay, the, it's still working. I'm going to close the project and open again. Save the project now. Close it. Open again. Takes one second to load. Second. Ah, now I see the problem. When I reopen the plugin window it recreates the the plugin and sets the last state information so okay because what's happening now the external one when you close the editor you set plugin editor equals new pointer and this happens here on the handle edge tour. Open edge tour equals true. Something is wrong on the plugin window code actually. Okay, this is this is not going to be using. I have to check the plugin window code to see what's going on. So the editor is create editor if needed to be create editor because it should always create the editor because I wanted to close the other one so it should work now let's see I should put something somewhere crash it Yeah, it's crashing. The crash is not that. Something else. Check. There is a place where 